Aries, welcome to your reading. I hope that the message finds you while you're in good health and good wealth. Let's see what spirit has for you today. We have a new book because I need structure in my life. <laughs> no, I just bought it because I, yeah, I don't know. I saw it at the store. I thought it was really cool. I haven't even opened it yet, so I'm going to flip to a random page. Even when I was in the store, I didn't open it. I just read the back, saw the front. There has to be something in here, right? Could be really lame, but I doubt it. So we're going to flip to a random page, and then we are going to work with that spread. What does spirit have for Aries? This shit crazy, what the fuck? I don't know if we should do this one, but this is what I hope it to. We're not gonna do this one. All right, all right. It says, hold me, thrill me, kiss me, kill me, spread. July 6th, the lovers is what we opened up to. So, oh, actually it's pretty good. It's not as crazy as I thought. Um, the spread talks about who you cannot trust, what you are currently creating. Um, does someone need extra love from you right now? Who is talking about you? What is transforming? How do you rebel? Like, what, what do you rebel against, I guess? Or what are you currently re Yeah. And what should I avoid? Who has a crush on you who's interested? And is there someone you should be kissing right now? So let's do it, honestly. That seems like a chill spread. <laughs> I don't know, it had killed me in, this, in the title, so I was like, I don't know, but. Let's have some fun with it, right? I'm glad I got this. Damn, first card out. Who can you not trust? The Knight of Wands. Somebody very impulsive, could be a Aries Leo Sag, but this is somebody that acts on impulse. Show me more about this Knight of Wands. No, let's get the rest of the spread. Okay. Oh, how fun. <laughs> I needed that. I needed this. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Last card. Last two. I'll take them both. Whatever. Bottom of the deck, two of cups reverse. Seven of wands reverse. Chariot reverse. We have Cancer energy and we have Leo energy on the bottom. To me, Aries, this feels like you're in a connection or you are trying to be closer to somebody. You're trying to let your guard down, but it, you're just having a difficult time like really connecting with them or maybe them to you, right? Take it as it resonates, but it's like you're a part of something or you are attached to something, but the energy is not really moving as smooth as you would hope. In your spread, the first card we have out with who you cannot trust at this time, it is going to be the Knight of Wands. So there's a person around you or in your life, maybe an aspect within yourself that is very impulsive, very vibrant, attractive, right? This could be somebody that really gives in to their urges, right? They're like, what do they call those? They're very in their working out of their lower chakras, right? They're very rooted in their lower chakras or acting out of there. So there's someone in your life that's impulsive, um, probably the life of the party, right? Somebody that is a bit all over the place, but living in their truth and their excitement, right? They're, they're, I don't know. There's someone in your life you can't trust in regards to that type of energy. Somebody that just acts before they really think about things through. And we'll clarify all of these. Next card, what are you currently creating? We have the Wheel of Fortune. 
So you're in the process of creating some sort of change or shift, right? You are generating good karma or you're receiving good karma um, and your focus is to create more or maintain it, right? You're creating abundance. You're creating um, positive momentum forward, I want to say. Third card, does someone need extra love from you right now? Yes, the Ten of Cups. This is a family member. This is somebody that means a lot to you, Aries. There's someone in your circle, right? Or somebody that maybe you haven't connected with for a while that needs your love, right? They want your attention. And it doesn't have to be romantic, but it could be. But this could be like a wife uh, or a husband or partner. This could be a mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt, whatever, brother, sister, cousin, chosen family, right? Like the people that just mean a lot to you. Somebody that really freaking loves you, Aries, they need you to respond. <laughs> they need to hear from you. Make sure, I don't know, maybe they just need your love. But they want to hear from you. Um, well, they need some extra love from you. Four, who's talking about you, the high priestess, and you don't even know it? This could be Pisces. Could be a Pisces talking about you behind your back. Doesn't have to be. But someone's definitely spilling the tea about you to somebody, Aries. Because with the high priestess here, this could be somebody that like m makes you want to trust them or you feel like you, sh you should trust them. But they might be talking about you behind your back, spilling secrets. Somebody that you have given a lot of trust to. So someone you would not expect to be talking about you is talking about you. Oh. All right, next. What is transforming in your life? The Ten of Wands reverse. Okay, so this is like things getting easier, right? Road blockages, little bumps in the road on, along your path. Like they're going to start clearing out or clearing up. Things are going to start becoming easier in regards to like what you're passionate about, what you are desiring to move forward with. I don't know. This feels like a weight being lifted off of your shoulder. So that is what's transforming in your life. Burdens, right? Burden, stress, um, obstacles, hard work. Maybe, you're, maybe you've been putting in a lot of hard work in regards to anything in your life. And what's transforming is because of what you're creating is change, Wheel of Fortune. What's transforming is like you being able to mm, not have to work so hard. <laughs> okay, next. How do you rebel? We have the King of Wands. I don't know if it's rebel, right? I don't know if this is rebellion type of energy, but this is how you rebel, I guess. So maybe you go against, against the norm when it comes to how you show up with your confidence, right? Or maybe just your certainty and self. Like you might really believe in yourself or your abilities or you're just very charismatic. And it really could be going against the grain in regards to the environment that you find yourself in, right? Maybe it's not something that is normally accepted or maybe it's a bit frowned upon for people to be this bold and this confident and certain. So in that sense, it's like you rebel by living in your power, right? You rebel by being in your power. It could be very offensive to some people to see someone like you so confident. Next, what should I avoid? The Queen of Wands. Damn. Hmm. Avoid people, places, or things that are just, they're just, you know, desirable on the outside, right? Like on paper, it looks good, but when you get into the job or when you see that person's soul, like it's just something else, right? It's not a direct reflection. Avoid things that look really enticing or feel really good, but they don't actually add any value to the path that you're trying to walk or the direction you're trying to head, or they're just not the type of people you want to be around. Who has a crush on you? The Eight of Pentacles. This could be a Virgo. Also, who, sh who you should avoid, maybe a fire sign. Who can you not trust, maybe a fire sign. I don't know. Um, how do you rebel by being a fire sign? <laughs> what is transforming? A fire sign. Look, you got so many wands. 
Knight of Wands, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Ten of Wands. We also have the Ace of Wands. We got Ten of Cups, High Priestess, Five of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Who has a crush on you? Somebody you work with, maybe? Could be a little work wife, work husband. <laughs> The Eight of Pentacles, somebody that's really like a hard worker. They're maybe somebody that's masterful at their craft or I don't know. Somebody has been keeping an eye on you, seeing the type of work that you produce. They're really interested in your work or just the way you work. Or I don't know. There's something about work here that somebody's, they're crushing on you. Aries. Uh-oh. And is there someone you should be kissing right now? Five of Cups, Ace of Wands. I'm going to have to say no. I'm going to have to say there's not a someone you should be kissing right now because there's emotions that you need to process and deal with and release before you start kissing on someone with this new beginning. I think someone could, could want to be kissing on you with the Ace of Wands, or you could be wanting to kiss on somebody, but there's still this unresolved sense of like disappointment, grief that needs to be dealt with before you really start kissing on somebody. Because if you just do both at the same time, you start, <laughs> it's, it's just going to get messy at the end of the day, you know? I don't know. Let's, let's clarify. Let's get a different deck, though. Okay, so with what you cannot trust. Oh, it says what, not who. So maybe... This is not about a person that you cannot trust, right? This is what we're going to clarify. It's more so about your impulsive act, your impulsiveness, right? The way that you might sometimes just act without thinking. Clarify this Knight of Wands with who Aries cannot, what Aries cannot trust right now. The Judgment and the Eight of Wands. Okay. This could have to do with something from the past, right? Someone from your past, maybe, trying to communicate with you, trying to re reinitiate a connection that they have, right? Do not trust, the Spirit's saying, I'm not saying, the Spirit is saying, you cannot trust their communication or them, the actions they take trying to come back into your life. They might have ulterior motives, I don't know, I'm not going to look too much into that. But something is going to, someone or something, or maybe it's part of you that wants to communicate with your past, Mm, don't don't trust it right now not right now all right what are you creating clarifying the wheel of fortune the seven of wands six of pentacles reverse okay so this is spirit saying right now as you're creating whatever you're creating make sure that you have the right type of energies around you that are going to help propel you into the reality you're trying to create right don't carry people on your back if they're not going to carry you on theirs as well. You know what I mean? Be aware and very protective of yourself and your energy in regards to how much you give, right? How much you're giving and receiving. Because if you're trying to make change in your life with the Wheel of Fortune, positive change, the last thing you need is draining vampire energy, vampire energies, right? So Spirit's saying... What you're creating is a reality where your peace will be protected and the imbalance that used to exist in regards to relationships no longer does. You are creating positive momentum forward for you because of the actions you're taking now for yourself. I don't know why I'm drinking out of this. It just holds a lot of water and... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling good today. Okay. Blowing a kiss. Does someone need extra love from you right now? Ten of Cups. Yeah, they do. Somebody you love needs extra love from you. The High Priestess. But they won't tell you this. So this is somebody that maybe does not speak up often, right? This could be that family member, that friend, that lover. It's like you kind of got to read their energy. Like, they're not just going to tell you straight up what they want or what they need. It's almost like you have to play that game of trying to read their mind, which is just frustrating. But this is who needs love from you. Um, we have 
Pisces and then more Pisces energy. So it could literally just be a Pisces or I, mean, I don't know, somebody that really means a lot to you, but you maybe you haven't talked to in a while with the high priestess here. That person, that energy, they need extra love from you. Who's talking about you? The high priestess, that Pisces, <laughs> the five of wands. They're talking shit. I don't know. That, that's, that's causing mess. That's drama. That's them causing drama behind the scenes, right? This is somebody that's talking to create conflict or disruption, chaos in your life. Like whatever secrets they're talking about, I would be, I would, I would look out for that. It doesn't have to be a Pisces. It could be a Leo. It could be any sign. You could, they could have any of those in their chart. You could as well. But somebody's talking, they're spilling secrets that's going to cause or create drama. So someone's trying to like talk on your name so that you look like a bad guy, pretty much. But then there's also someone else that really needs your love. And I feel like what you're creating is just like you're trying to stay out of the drama. You're trying to create positive change. And you're just trying to like focus on things that actually feel good to you. And what you cannot trust is this dramatic energy, right? It's really coming together for me. I don't know if this is two different energies or just all the same person that's like putting on a mask to try and play nice in front of your face and then like create drama behind your back. Or if it's two different people, it's like someone genuinely needs your love and attention. And then there's another person that you're just protecting yourself from because you know that they're always drama when you interact with them. Messy, <laughs> messy. All right, let's keep going. What is transforming the 10 of wands in the reverse? Clarified by the four of cups reverse. Nice. Six of swords reverse. So it's like all this stagnant energy or just difficult and heavy energy that is transforming. So the change that you're focused on creating, right? This positive shift or momentum forward, it is doing something, right? Even if you don't see it in your like present reality right now, it is creating a lot of change. So you're going to become a lot more busy or maybe a lot more excited. Yeah. Things are going to become less stressful. So you're going to feel like more, um, more present, I want to say, right? It's not like you're going to be like dreading waking up tomorrow to go do this or that. It's like, you're going to be like, oh, some stress has been released. Like I don't have to worry about this or that. So now I can actually enjoy the things I do. How do you rebel the King of Wands, the Queen of Cups? Yeah, Six of Wands reverse. How do you rebel? rebel? You rebel by being confident and loving and not letting anyone or anything take you out of your natural authentic energy. You rebel by being authentic and also being genuine and loving and nurturing and caring and empowering to be around. You rebel by being somebody who is literally showing up to the best of their abilities every day that you can, right? You rebel by going against the norm of conforming to whatever society wants you to be and you stand in your power. You stand in very high energy, right? very powerful, respected, and loving energy. You rebel by being able to manifest your reality because you believe in yourself. You rebel because the rest of the world does not believe in themselves. We were all conditioned to not believe in ourselves. You rebel by believing in yourself and doing it with a big heart. That's badass. Keep rebelling. <laughs> Kiss your ass goodbye. What should you, <clears throat> what should you avoid we have the Queen of Wands with the Ace of Swords and the Page of Cups, Five of Cups. You should avoid people that, that I'm telling you, it's, it's this mask. It's like people that seem like they got it all together, but they really don't. And like none of us really have it together, but people that really put on a facade, like it's giving me the energy of somebody who, 
let's say you meet someone new and they tell you all these things about them and you believe them because you have no reason not to, right? But then you meet their friends and their friends are telling you a whole different story or you just pick up little things here and there that don't align with what the person you met was telling you, right? It's like you pick up those little clues. Like be what you should avoid people that are just very, very full of themselves, but also kind to others. Because deep down, those type of people are very sad because they're not living in their authenticity, right? If you're going to put on a show for the world and be super nice to all these people, but deep down, you just don't even like yourself or the way that you carry yourself, you're... I don't know. Avoid whatever you see to be true. What if you see someone not being in their authenticity, avoid it. Let's keep it simple. Because it's going to cause more drama in your life than you anybody needs. Especially when you're literally that is what you're rebelling against. It's people that don't know how to be authentic. <laughs> um geez. who has a crush on you? Eight of Pentacles? And the Nine of Pentacles, double Virgo energy, Four of Wands, somebody that really likes you. You make them happy. King of Cups could be a water sign, maybe in another Aries. But um, yeah, they think you're very attractive. They like your independence. They like how empowered you are. Um, just between you and yourself, like they like your confidence. I feel like they like the way you work or maybe your wisdom. If you look at this nine of pentacles, there's an owl right here on the top of that pentacle. I don't know. Whatever you do, they're very attracted to it. They got a crush on you. Um, and is there someone you should be kissing right now? Ace of Wands with the Five of Cups, clarified by the freaking lovers. <laughs> nine of Cups on the bottom. So maybe that's a yeah. Maybe that's a yes, actually. Um, the lovers, maybe this is like a soulmate, or maybe you're just having a rough patch with somebody you're with, or I don't know, but you should be kissing this person because they want to, they, they're so close to doing it, they might as well do it, um, but I don't know, there's some like underlying, and there's a lot of passion here as well, someone you're attracted to, and somebody that makes you happy, nine of cups, but there is some underlying sense of like disappointment, you know? And we started out with the two of cups reverse, seven of wands reverse, chariot reverse. So it could just be a relationship where it's like you're trying to be more open and vulnerable and connect on that deeper level. But like there's some things that has happened in the past that have made you disappointed or them, you flip it, whatever. But there is someone you should be kissing. So go ahead, Aries, go ahead. Closing messages. Confidence, I told you, you shine, Aries. Something about you, very, very attractive. Victory, mm, one more. Two came out, family and believe. So yeah, there could be a family member or some type of energy that really like needs your, they want your love or attention or something, but Regardless, whatever you're manifesting, the changes you're making, you are going to be victorious. Your confidence is your key. Do not let the world tell you that confidence is bad, right? Just do it. Don't, you don't got to be confident and shitty, right? You can be confident and loving. You don't got to put people down to be confident. But believe in yourself. You are creating a great family for yourself or you are creating <clears throat> a great community, right? I don't know. Something about your family is important. I'm going to get one more because... Four just feels off. <laughs> and trust, yeah, trust. Trust the process, trust yourself. Bottom of the deck, love, trust and love. I know it's hard in today's age, trust me, but the right one, you'll know the right one. You'll know, you'll know. But so this is your hold me, thrill me, kiss me, kill me spread. July 6th. Um, that is my dad's birthday. That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. But I hope you guys resonated. I had fun with that reading. That felt more like that felt good. I don't know. I, I needed that. I needed to like 
do something different, you know? Spirit works in weird ways. If you, if any of you are feeling stagnant, do something outside of the norm, right? Do something that you're not like, that's outside of your routine because it can really shake up energy and it can make you feel like yourself again. If you guys want to follow me on social media, donate to the channel, book a personal. Links will be in the description boxes below or my about tab. If you stayed this long, thank you. <laughs> Bye.